Drew Murin here with Getaway Magazine. Today we're at Soaring NV in Minden, Nevada. And I'm sitting here with my friend Brad. And Brad is planning on taking me up on one of these gliders. Brad, tell me what to expect up there. Well, we take you up, take you above Lake Tahoe. We do about a 10,000 foot tow. Um, we let you try to fly the glider. We do a little bit of acrobatics if you feel comfortable with that. Um, and then we fly over Carson Valley, get beautiful views of the lake and beautiful views of the valley. And totally the, the, uh, the ride lasts about 40 to 45 minutes. Great. Looking for it. So I see there's two seats here. Where do I ride? Front or back? We're going to put you in the front seat. That's the best view. I love it. So what do I do? What do we do to get started? Start with the parachutes. We always put a parachute on you. I have to say, I was a little concerned when I was informed that I'd be wearing a parachute. But I was relaxed somehow when they assured me that it hadn't been used before. I asked my pilot, Elizabeth, to pull no punches. I wanted the ride of a lifetime. Elizabeth assured me with a quiet smirk and started my pre-flight briefing. And boy, was it brief. Next thing I knew, the tow plane pulled up and hooked up what looked like dental floss to the front of my glider. Before I knew it, the tow plane took off and we were airborne within seconds. Tim, our tow plane pilot, circled to gain altitude and within 15 minutes, it was time to pull the yellow handle. And not for the parachute, but for release from the tow plane. It was such a surreal moment. Snow-capped mountains everywhere you looked, right over Heavenly Ski Area, watching all the skiers and snowboarders with the beautiful Lake Tahoe in the background. We rode the waves, which is glider talk for great wind currents. Circling the valley, soaking up all the beauty that the special location had to offer. Elizabeth then gave me the hold on to your underwear statement and began the aerobatics that I requested earlier. I was a little nervous at first, but holy mother of Miami, it was totally worth it. I felt like I was Tom Cruise in the movie Top Gun, but just going a little bit slower. After shooting down a few bogeys in my head, it was time to land. The hour-long flight had literally flown by. Elizabeth called to the Minden Tower and let them know the getaway guy was on approach and all other air traffic was completely halted. Glider 669 made our approach and the landing was soft and smooth. Elizabeth casually cruised our glider almost to the back door soaring MV hangar, pretty much parallel parking it. So I wouldn't have to walk far just in case I had to change my shorts. I expected an exciting confetti and champagne welcome, but then I remembered they probably do this every day. The canopy was popped and the first thing out of my mouth was, holy <laughs> Brad, great time. That was unbelievable. Let's do it again. Thanks, Soren MV. And next time, I want to drive. <laughs>